Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Chewy and I like to play strategy games. EU4 is the primary content driver of this channel. So if you like EU4 content and you haven't already, consider subscribing because we got plenty to watch and plenty more to come. Today we're going to start a new campaign starting as England and we are going to go for the coveted Empire of Man achievement as this little one province minor nation here of man. Um, and it's going to be a tough start, but we're going to do a little fun twist. We're going to be turning into a pirate republic, and we're going to raid all of these guys. And so for those of you who do not know, the Empire of Man achievement is to, as man, control all islands in the world. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a long-term game, but being pirates will make it a lot more fun. Plus, we get bonuses to our navy. So it'll be a lot more, a lot like our So campaign. For those of you who have been around for a while, you would know that we did a Japanese pirate campaign. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure that you show your support, leave a like. Also, we stream three to four days a week over at twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot. So go follow me over there if you have not already. And check me out on Twitter because I like to keep updates for campaigns. So... People on Twitter already knew that this campaign was coming. Many of you may know that uh, recently I was hit by some strange bug that uh, essentially demonetized my channel and my ad revenue has been cut significantly. So if you do want to support my channel and you have it within your means, Patreon is the best way to do it. It's going to be linked below. If you want to hop in the Discord, that's going to be linked in the description below as well. We have a great community over there and we really have fun. There will be no face cam for this campaign because I have decided to move the face cam over to twitch.tv slash chewy shoot. So if you want to see my ugly mug, you're going to have to go over there and follow. But that's all I got for you for this one. Let's get into it. The Empire of Man. All right, let's get into it. So we are going to be starting as England. But before we do anything, we will immediately release this glorious vassal. Man, the Lordship of Man. However, they will not be... Uh, this is not all they're going to get. So... Um, we are going to be doing a pirate republic, like I said in the intro. And now what we're going to do is we are going to basically set him up for success. So in order to form a pirate republic, you have to have at least two stability, 10% uh, pirate privateering, like pri pirate trade ability, I guess, trade power, whatever, 10% of the trade node, which is uh, the North Sea for him. So it should be quite easy. Um, and then... Uh, you need to have six provinces, no more than six provinces that are all coastal. So in order to do that, we are going to give him a couple of coastal provinces and we are going to give him good ones. Uh, basically we're going to give him everything, set him up. So that's one, two, uh, we're going to give him Northumberland four. Uh, let's go with Essex. One, two, three, four, five, and then Norfolk. Yeah. That's fine. At least a little bit of it is connected. So one, two, three, four, five, six provinces. And then all we need to do is wait it out. Wait um, until we have at least uh, 10 years with him, annex him. Uh, and then what we do is re-release and play as him. And we will actually lose all of our cores. See, we lost our cores. We gave our cores to him. So England no longer has cores on this land. Kind of funny. So we'll we'll just do our normal thing like we normally would. Let's go with some advisor costs and give them a little bit of Diplo support. And uh, placate the clergy and a mill points. Um, I don't really care about these guys, to be honest. So I mean, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So what is this? English monarchy does not have the mechanic disabled diet. So we actually just can't do it. Interesting. All right. So let's go patronage of the arts. Um, might as well do some manufacturers then. Or not manufacturers, you know what I mean. Can't do free enterprise, sadly. Um, monopolies is what I was trying to say before. And then, yoink. Some crown land. Let's, um... Uh, I think we should actually pick something that's useless. Because we're not going to be playing as England, so I don't care if we have, um, anything strong going on. It doesn't matter to me. Matter of fact, we are going to just give up the province of Maine so I don't have the event happen. So let's see here. Can I sell? Can I just return it? I can. So we're just going to return it so I don't get the event. And um, I think that's just about it. Let's send these guys out to protect trade in the channel. And then uh, have our armies here turned off and our forts. Luckily, we gave man one fort. So all we need to do is uh, pick up a couple of alliances. These two should do just fine. And then um, now we wait. 
I actually picked up royal marriages, but that's fine as well. So now we honestly just wait. We do not want to make him a uh, a march because we're going to want to annex him. So we're going to get a couple of allies and uh, realistically, I'm going to sit here on speed five. I will um, take a couple of these guys. We may end up getting the War of the Roses. If we do, it's not the end of the world. It's just more annoying than anything, but no big deal. Let's um, turn these guys off just in case there is a war because we are allied to Austria and Liege gets attacked by Burgundy basically every single time. So it's fine. We'll just ride with it. So let's improve relations with these boys. This is not so we cannot play as these guys right now. But we will, and that is my goal for this first episode. We'll see how it goes. Um, and all things considered, we should be good. Um, I am going to focus on Diplo is fine. Um, uh, this might be an unpopular opinion, but we are going to Nation Ruin. Uh, there's no reason in keeping a strong England. It's just going to basically gimp our start. And so... I have no interest in worrying about any of that, and, uh, you know, I can't really be too bothered if you're upset by it. <laughs> uh, go through with the reforms, that's fine with me. We have an heir! We, a John. John. So, your name shall be Spartan. Uh, now, Spartan, Lancaster, you are my top supporter on Patreon, by the way. We are going to, um... Destroy you and more, and it will feel great. So, let's build some forts over here for my boy. Uh, actually, I think what we'll do is we'll take admin tech and we'll build some temples. Basically, we just want to keep him as strong as we can without raising his dev right off the rip. So we have to wait. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you want to integrate a uh, vassal, you have to wait 10 years after they are formed. So, uh, where are we at here? So, November 11th of 1454. Uh, and in the meantime... We're just sitting here. Um, there's not really much I can do. I can get stronger, but I don't really want to get stronger as England because England is going to be discarded, let's say. And so what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking all of this money and we're going to gift it to ourselves right before we do any of this. This will be fine. So just speed five in it. Wait and wait and wait. And I will probably see if I can sell him my light ships as well. That would be great. Portugal's got a disputed succession. Do they have a Lancaster? No, they don't. But they could. <laughs> so in one of my test runs, uh, anybody in the Discord would know this. I I had um, a spontaneous PU on Castile. So that was pretty funny. It literally just happened for no reason. Uh, France's opinion on me goes up or some prestige. Sure, let's take it. Um, go with some reform desire. Papal influence, I don't care about. Yeah, I don't care about any of this stuff. If I get excommunicated, it's fine. Like I said, we won't be playing as these guys much longer anyways. I'll take the mana. The fact that uh, Henry is so garbage is definitely not helpful. But like I said, more money is good because we're going to build a temple in each of these. I think, is it, is it a temple or is it a church? What's the building called? A church. Cathedral. Charles de Bourgnon. Very good. Burgundy looking strong. Could have allied Burgundy. So this looks like, looks like it might have been the perfect storm. Nah. I wouldn't have been able to call Castile in on the Hundred Years' War, but I would have been able to call Burgundy in. And uh, maybe Aragon if I wanted to. So it's actually crazy. All these guys are friendly to me, which is not, not the usual. Yeah. They must have all rivaled uh, France, but not rivaled me, which is quite good for us. And so we are just waiting a few more years. Speed 5 is good, especially if you have a computer that can handle it. And we have a computer that can handle it. So I'm not going to worry about my mission tree either. Uh, what we're going to do here is... Um... Ooh, okay. No! What are you talking about, man? Yeah, I'll take the week here. Arthur? No, your name shall be Spartan as well. <laughs> Gotta give the guy a chance. He's weak. Like I said, this is actually probably better because he's a worse heir and he's also, um, ooh, can't be the joust. I'd rather not 
I don't plan on fighting any wars. So anything I can do to make these guys weak, we are going to do some stuff before we get out of here for sure. So don't worry about it. We're going to make it happen. He moved his capital to Essex. <laughs> All right, man. So he moved his trade capital down to here. That's actually not ideal. Hopefully whenever we annex him and re-release re, uh, re him, it will... Um, Put his capital back here up on the island. We want his capital on the island for sure. Because we want his trade capital up here. It's going to be a lot harder to get 10% trade. Um, yeah, trade with our pirates down here as it would be up here. It's hard enough that I would, like, I would actually spend the points to move it up there if I needed to. Scotland claiming my lands, you sons of guns. Nope. Okay, this is... That little line right there has triggered me for so long. Literally unplayable paradox. Okay. Coming up here. Three years from now. He's not even drilling his army. I should probably be subsidizing him. Eh? Let's subsidize him like... Four ducats a month. Okay, here we go. Um, I'll hold off on this because we're going to be using those points to integrate him. I think we'll be fine, but I'd rather just wait. This is the one we want. Blame the king. I don't want to lose his stability. Yep. I'm not spending those points, like I said. Because whenever, so, I don't actually know exactly how it goes, because I think in my test run, I integrated him. He had higher tech than me, but then when I released him, he had the same tech he did before. And I was under the impression that if you release a nation, they have the same tech as you do, but maybe since the tag existed previously, it uh, took the old tech? I'm not sure. That was a weird one. All right, one more year. November 54. Oh, I lied. Two more years. It's coming, though. We have lots of money, too. Yeah, so giving these guys cash is definitely in our best interest. Let's see if I can sell them. Oh, yeah. they will take them. Perfect. Oh, he might shit. He might actually... Did he get rid of them? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> no way. I think he immediately... Oh, no, no, no. He sold one of them. Okay, that's fine. I just, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I should have sold it to him before I actually released the land. That was a misplay on my part. He's building up all these units. I'm just going to annex them anyway, so. Yep, there's his blue squadron. <laughs> sold him the entire navy. Feels good, man. All right, we are now in the year. Um, sadly, it doesn't actually change anything. Because we are... Um, it's still going to take some time to annex him. Because we did give him some dev, so, you know. It's not just going to happen in a month. We do have this guy, which is going to be super helpful. He's a little old, so... He may not make it for the entire annexation, but we're going to do our best. Two more months, we can finally start this annexation process. Um, some burger loyalty, because we're going to... Spend some points to dev him up, I reckon. Before we re-release him. Because I don't really care about tech. Yes, extend the monopoly. More money. Let's get something useless. There we go. Oh, I missed it by a month. Let's start the annexation process. It will take us a few years. But uh, once it's done, it's done, and we won't have to do it, do it again. So what we're going to do, before we release him, there's going to be quite a bit of extra work to do, but you'll see. You'll see how we do this. It'll be fine. Um, I don't want them to get any... Oh. Yeah. Remember, we're not playing the long game. I do not care about any of this stuff. I don't want those points. We do not need to worry about anything with England. 
Let's rival people that actually... Yeah, let's rival Scotland, that's fine. Basically, we need to rival people who can beat up on him opportunistically. Um, so the way we're doing this, the reason why I rival Skyland, I should explain. Whenever he is disloyal, I will be able to request that his rivals, which will be our rivals, slash enemies, probably our enemies more than anything, will be interested in supporting our independence. France is the big one, uh, because we're going to be able to release a couple of tags over here, and so we shall. We won't be able to release Northumberland, sadly, because they have claims, or they have cores on my nation that I plan on releasing. Nor will we release the Isles, but we will release Wales, Meath, Cornwall, Normandy, and Gascony. And then we're just gonna do a couple of shenanigans, like delete our armies, delete our navy. Um, he's got uh, he's got his navy over here. It's a bummer though, because whenever we annex him, we're gonna get this army for free. So very good. Let's build these guys over here. And uh, next year we'll build some forts for him as well. The Bank of England. I'm sure there's a more optimal way of doing this as well. It's fine. If you guys have done a uh, pirate, uh, or any any pirate republic for that matter, I'm, that's not like, you know, Palembang or so. Um, I'm curious how you did it. And I, I think Rugen spawns as one like i think you can release yourself as one and then obviously there's the caribbean pirates um but i'm curious if you guys have done a pirate campaign though realistically i haven't done the intro yet so i'll probably ask about it in the intro <laughs> but uh, i'm always curious look at that man 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 <laughs> the nation's so nice we named it four times yeah seems legit So what's his tech at? He's on 344 and we're on 443. I think we're going to go up to 444 just to make sure that we can. And then after we integrate him, we're going to dev the crap out of the island up here. Because we want that to be his capital. And if it's the highest dev province, he'll keep it as his capital. So that's, that's how we want to manage that. Oh, the isles are a vassal up here. Oh, no, they're not. They're independent. Interesting. Huh. Castile declared war on Morocco. All right, and as we get closer to this annexation, this is where the fun's gonna start happening. I'm very excited. Hope you guys are too. I don't have a list. I didn't write it out because I am incapable of thinking ahead, but this will be sweet. All right, this whole time I've been losing money on these forts. I don't need that. That's an extra ducat and a half a month that I've been losing because I'm a dingus. Really? All right, we got another heir. This one we don't get to name. That's our second heir that we've lost. Whatever. There we go. Keep that down as low as possible. We're about a year out from annexing. The Shadow Kingdom is happening. Burgundy has declared war on Provence. Um, I will gladly take the mill. And then after we integrate him, we're going to do a couple of things. Like I said, deving up man, release a couple of their nations, break our alliances, basically just set ourselves up for failure. England, that is. And um, set man up to have the strongest position they possibly can. Sadly, I don't think I can do anything about these ships. I'm going to integrate these ships and then we're just going to, you know, lose them. So that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Okay, so take about two more months here. Speed five simulator for the first episode. <laughs> Stay tuned. This episode, this campaign is going to be in incredibly fun. I'm I'm very confident of that. So let's state that dev cost. Thirteen. So I don't know if it'll actually be his capital. It's his historical capital, so it should work. Levy the troops. We're not going to click this because I'm going to wait until... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait until we form... I don't know. Can we actually form them as man? Is man. Ah. Unfortunate. Well, we're not going to click it. So what we're going to do here... 
Get rid of all these guys. Get rid of all these guys. Break our alliances. And, uh... Let's send us some scornful insults out to make sure everybody that can hate us hates us. Hopefully we don't get attacked in the meantime. Scornful insult. Scornful insult. And uh, anybody else that would possibly be interested in allying us, send a scornful insult to Scotland. There we go. All right, so we've done that. Now is the time to release a bunch of people. Normandy, yes. Wales, yes. Meath, yes. Alençon, yes. Not Northumberland, Cornwall, yes. Gascony, yes. Let's, uh, that's all the points we have over there. Let us, um... So with our cash, I think we need to, well, for one, we're going to do this and we're going to take as many loans as we possibly can. That's a lot of money there, huh? And then let's, uh, what's the best way to spend this money? Um... Because I'm, I'm running a deficit, so I don't think I can gift it to anybody. Hmm. I could just declare bankruptcy, yeah? I don't know. I don't think they'll manage this debt very well anyway, so... That's fine. Um... Let's announce a rival over here. Let's go with Scotland. And then... We will release... Man. Am I doing everything correctly? Let's delete that fort as well. And the one over here. Release and play as man. Very good. We have negative 100 prestige. Very low legitimacy. We have liberty, desire, and one stability. Okay. We are a... None of this matters, actually. Because we're going to not end up keeping this, so it doesn't matter. Let's go with unjustified demands. And, um... Some of these guys have a decent liberty desire. Yeah, everybody should be over 50. So that's fine. Um, so let's just make sure we could do it. Mm, I don't know exactly how this works. So anyways, right off the rip, we have some cash because, you know, we gifted it to ourselves. Our capital is up here in man, which is great. Let's build up the force limit and then let's build up as many light ships as we possibly can. Ten is probably appropriate, and then we speed five and wait it out. We have a malevolent ruler, Donoho, Ronald the second. Classy man. We should probably get a couple of transports as well. Let's do something like this down here. We're gonna be over our naval limit. It's fine. We're we're gonna get a ton of naval limit once we um once we switch over. So yeah, income's looking okay. England has built up his guys. Everybody's disloyal, which is great. Uh, so we should, as soon as our truce is over, ooh, a 254, I can take that. Though I think we'll lose him after we form the Republic, but that's okay. Uh, your name shall be Palmer. Everlasting friendship, yes. So basically what we're doing right now is we are just going to build up our Navy, get as strong as we can before we declare our independence. I think we can't hoist the black flag because we're a subject nation. So ideally today, and this is probably going to be a longer episode for the first one. I uh, would ask if you guys are okay with it, but every time I do, I always get comments saying, Oh yeah, let me think if I'm okay with uh, a long episode. <laughs> the people have spoken. The long episodes are popular. I get it. What about dumb fries? I know that's not how it's pronounced, but it's way funnier if you pronounce it that way. So let's have- oh, right. Let's have these guys grouped up over there. Ladislaus, Archduke of Austria. King of Hungary. So for now, we are just going to collect down here. 
And we are going to steer from here. And uh, we're going to have these guys just protect for now. Help out our income. It should help a bit. 0.15 should go up to like, yeah, yeah. Very good. And uh, we're just waiting because we have a five-year truce. These guys are at war with uh, Ottomans, of course. Makes sense. So Ottomans are attacking who? Epirus and England is defender of the faith, aren't they? <laughs> That's really funny. I like that. The fact that they don't have a navy is great because it means uh, once we get... Yikes, what's going on here? Burgundian conquest of Barois. Ah, they helped Provence. Interesting. That's fine. Fine and dandy, actually. So let's get a couple more boys over here. And uh, as these ships start popping out, we're going to continue to get our light ships. Forts are our strength. Uh, yeah, let's go with some forts. Fort ability. Fort defense. Yes. All these ships will get these guys, those the people built up eventually as well. There we go. Get these light ships over there. Have them protect trade in the English Channel as well. Definitely our income is actually much better off because of it. It's great. And the fact that all of our provinces are ports is good because it means that uh, we will be able to form the Pirate Republic when the time comes. Sadly, we um, are over our naval limit, so it's going to hurt our economy. Actually, I can just turn my army maintenance off because... We don't need any of that noise. It's not like the Ottomans are going to be landing men up here, sieging us down. That would be incredible if they did. Losing sailors. It's fine. Disloyal estates. Right. So we should probably do these clicks, huh? Let's, um, free private trade fleets and patronage of the arts. Papal state's opinion of me. Burgundy's opinion of me. Seems good. So he, oh, that's great. We scornfully insulted Castile and then Castile um, supported or rivaled him. So we can probably get Castile to support our independence and France if they're not in this war. We'll see how that goes. These are transports. Yeah, being over our naval force limit is hurting us, but it's okay. We need these transports, especially with our nation being as uh, divided as it is right now. So what we're going to do here, we're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Truce is up in October, and at which point we will ally everybody. Yeah, this negative prestige and legitimacy is hurting us. Is there a reason why? Because of our prestige, that's really it. Jeez, oh Pete. Whew. I'm not going to lose more prestige. Damn, man. So yeah, we, have, we, ha we did come out with better tech than our... Uh, our overlord did, which is great. I think we had a little bit of dev there for the renaissance as well. So October is here. Everybody wants an ally. Yes, you do. Cool. So we're going to ally everybody here. These guys will support us. These guys will support us. As soon as he gets back, we declare our independence war. Meath is loyal. Now he's not. Portugal will join. It's fine. Um, who else you got? They don't want to support us. Scotland doesn't want to support us. So I think this is it. All we need to do is defend our capital, which, uh, yep, that's okay. And uh, Portugal will get sieged down by Castile. And France. France is already consolidating. So this is looking to be very good. Oh, we have good relations with them. Is there a way I can... Get that penalty away. Let's wait one month. Hopefully none of these guys declare independence. I don't know how it'll work since we're at war, though. Yeah, that's strange. None of these guys are in it right now. Huh. Eh, it doesn't matter. Anyways. Because those guys will just be disloyal once it's all over with anyways. Let's pull these guys in. Does he have a navy? No. 
No, he doesn't. He didn't build. He built three transports. So that's actually good for us. Um. Okay. So let's have these guys take us over to Calais with an admiral. They can siege down some stuff. I I don't care. It's not going to hurt me. Uh, France and uh, those guys will beat up. Nice. We're now a kingdom. And I think we can actually hoist the black flag. All we need is two stability, which it's fine. We can get that. And 10% uh, trade power. So we're looking good. No. Feels bad, man. The fact that we have naval supremacy is definitely good for us. He gave it to me. Nice. So I get a little bit of trade power here. It's great. All right. Let's uh, put this guy on uh, defensiveness. Nice. Luckily for us, we have a little bit of a war chest here. And uh, hopefully uh, we may end up wrapping up this war in the next one. We'll see. We'll definitely see. I'm going to let it run for a couple of minutes. See if we can do anything here. Um, I should probably keep on protecting trade in uh, the English Channel. Because that's quite a bit of income we're losing. And then I can turn my army off, I think. Because they're not going to land men over here. They have a lot of men over here. Um, they're collecting quite a bit of trade here. No, oh, just kidding. Not really. It, the, the issue is going to be getting the French and the Castilians to land men over here. Portugal's on medium enthusiasm. I'm going to see if I can get some war reps from them. Obviously. More money is good. And these guys are having a hard time at it, which I like. Low morale. Is there a reason why there's such low morale? I don't know. All right, Portugal. Portugal. I think there was a fight going on. No, they're just feeling pretty good. Yeah, there is an ongoing fight, probably like a naval battle. Where's our naval battle? Ah, there you go. Oh, they stack wiped them. <laughs> they got a three-star general who just got stack wiped, so uh, good for them. War reps, and then... Yeah, I don't get any of this money, so I don't care about it. I think that's what I want. There we go. Now those guys will turn their attention up here. Looks like... Right. So now they have no navy. So I think we just sit back and wait. Um, sadly... Oh, actually... I think I can give myself independence. They can't be upset about it because they uh, don't have any borders with him. So they can't ask for any clay. So I think we're good. Nice! I love losing stability. Let's get our stability up here. We need two stability, sadly. So we're going to need another 100 stab before we can even go for this. And our war exhaustion is stacking up pretty quick. But uh, we should be fine here. Um, hopefully Castile lands some men over here. We'll be able to get it. I think it's only like 20% for independence. 23? Yeah. Totally. Um, as long as we defend our capital, it's a bummer that he's making progress over here. I will gladly take that prestige. Thank you. Sick of losing legitimacy. Definitely going to have some rebels eventually. Alright, so France is handling rebels, and then they should hopefully get some men over here. Let's, uh, let's get these guys down here and allow enemies to board. If they want to. Here they are. Oh wait, they're disembarking over here. Bro, what are you doing? I can lose some money for that. That's no problem. Once we lose this fort, that's uh, kind of a bad thing for us. Our war exhaustion is basically just going to max out. There's not really much I can do. So, it's fine. Sadly, I didn't get Scotland in on the war. But, uh, that's okay. Yeah, it looks like neither of them... Okay, France is landing some men. This is good. Oh, they landed them on man. Uh, okay. <laughs> and then uh, England, or Castile's got lots of rebels over here. Goodness gracious. Are they in another war? Nope. They're just derping. They're not in separatists. They'll happen. So we lost Northumberland, and uh, we still are actually doing okay. We can get independence quite soon, which is great. And we'll be able to get our positive stability we need. And then we'll be able to protect trade or uh, privateer in the North Sea. Let's get a little bit of cash here while we can.
because we lost a bunch of trade power down here from having those guys occupied. So he does have a little bit of war exhaustion. It's good. I wonder, is London blockaded? It's not. Is it? I don't know, does it say? Burger Monopoly on textiles. Ah, right, yes. Did a bunch of those. So it looks like we're going up. This is good. Um, I'm not sure what this little 10 stack of the French over here is going to help, but uh, that's okay. Let's, let's come on over here, see if we can get a couple of blockades off, and uh, should be enough to piece him out, honestly. Very good. Everybody's cool with it. I become independent. All of his uh, vassals are still going to be disloyal. So that's good. We click this button here. Have these guys group up. Send these guys home. Ah. Have you guys privateer up here. And uh, that should be enough. I'll be very surprised if it's not. Yes. Lose to stability. Type of government changes to republic. And uh, we get enact the government to pirate republic government reform. Oh, lose government to reforms. And uh, we'll use new world pirate sprites. <laughs> That's the most important part. Huzzah! We are now the pirate confederacy, I think we are. Of man. And uh, chance to capture enemy ships because we are pirates after all. And we don't even need to buy that down. We can rival Scotland. And uh, there we go. We are now allied to Castile and France, and we are the Pirate Republic of Man. And uh, in the next episode, you already know it's time to do some raiding, boys, but that'll do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. It's the most important one to get support as far as the YouTube algorithm goes. So if you did enjoy it, please just take a second to leave a like on the video. It helps way more than you know. Don't forget, if you haven't already, you can subscribe, and if you ding the bell, we'll send you notifications to your phone every time we upload. It's the best way to keep up to date with campaigns if you're enjoying them, as well as if you want to uh, support us. We have a Patreon and uh, a Discord that is quite the fun community that we have over there. So if that uh, any of that appeals to you, all of those links are in the description below the video. But that's all I got for you today. This is Chewy Shoot. We are the Pirate Republic of the Pirate Confederacy of Man. And I will catch you guys later. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And a big special thanks to my top November patrons, Drunk Binary, Palmer, Bloodbound92, DeVos Sander, Angelic, M. Dressel, Blonde Damon, Corbett Gaming, T. Jarden, Disdain, Jake Hutchell, RJ Pilot, and many more. I appreciate you guys, and we couldn't do it without you.